There's another Nike Air Force One. All right, a little $80, um, kind of, you know, $80 jackpot, really, because all the stuff that we've shown, and then a lot of stuff we put on the truck we didn't necessarily show, and look, there's still all these boxes left, and furniture, for 80 bucks, you can't beat it, you cannot beat that, we got a Ryobi here, with the battery, we'll have to see if that's what's going on with that, but lots more boxes to look at right here, St. John AME Church, what is this? A new, oh, these are like some kind of fake leaves, but this is all decorative rose petals. Clothes, this might be, that's all clothes, it looks like, but this is not. Here we got a, we got a brand new Falcons cooler bag, that's really nice. Very nice little bag there. And then look at right here, we got a bunch of mason jars. These have been selling good right now. These mason jars, there's jars, lids, other stuff down in there. Shoes, lots of miscellaneous items. All right, this box here looks like it's got like, there's a pump sprayer. What's in there? I don't know if it's tools really or, I don't know, what is this? we got a folding ladder. Okay, we got vinegar, we got lots of spray bottles down in there. Peroxide. Bite fighter, tiki torch, oil. Other cleaner down in there, so kind of a mixed bag of cleaners and household kind of stuff, I guess. At the bottom on this thing, it feels like it's coming out. It's very... I have to just slide it. <sighs> Shorty wardrobe. Goodness. And it looks like it is a wardrobe box. You can see down in there the bar just the bar fell down. The so clothes are all in there on hangers. Like there's a nice blue jean dress right there. They just kind of fell down into the bottom there. Purse. What is this? A few purses right here on the top. Let's see. There's a Steve Madden. I think that other little bag may go with it. Steve Madden purse. Just trying to see what these purses are right here on the top. Some brand new curtains. A couple more. That one's kind of, these are kind of stuck to each other. But hold, looks like some pretty nice clothes down in there. All ready to go on hangers. And then I think like this box here, this is more clothes on hangers. Oh, we got a bunch of shoes over here too. Shoes in boxes. Look, Ann just came walking up here with this Louis Vuitton bag. Get me excited for a second, but it's little bubble envelopes there. Yeah. It's got a bunch of this ribbon and a little little doll baby crib with a $5.99 price on it. Yep, it's got a hard on it. Still a lot of stuff to go. Oh, there we go. Let me get this thing out of the way now. Alright, I'm back here in the back corner and I found more shoes. So 
So, and then we had the bag of shoes that in the front. Here's another bag too. And I think this shoe was in that first bag. But that's a real nice Air Force One there. And there's more right there. So hopefully we can piece some of those um, shoes together. Real nice men's tennis shoes there. All right, this box weighs a ton right here. Probably um, books, I guess. As much as it weighs. It's a box from a stereo, but I don't think it's books. Maybe it's glassware and stuff like that, because it looks like some utensils. Right there on the top, like kitchen utensils. Holy crap. Yeah, a ton of t kitchen utensils, and these can be really heavy. If you have a lot of utensils in there, you got utensils, there's like a Pyrex baking dish but utensils utensils coffee mugs those things full of all the onions and peppers and all that so it's just a lot of heavy just have mix of heavy stuff it looks like some good stuff in there let's see some brand new utensils there man that thing is heavy all right we've been loading a lot of the stuff we're just loading at this point not even looking at but and Told this and she did see this box right here on the top. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything in it. The box is very nice. The Ross box, but oh, there's a picture of this people right on the top one. Uh -oh. Let me move that. Sorry. <laughs> and it is full of jewelry. I think this is the other half of the one dollar bill from earlier. <laughs> I don't know. It's got a lot of it's like necklaces in it. It looks like most likely costume stuff, but still nice costume jewelry probably mixed in there. All right, down below that box, I saw this little box peeking out. Not a whole lot in it, but there was a whole dollar bill in it. Whole entire thing's there. And we got a little wallet here. Okay. But it looks like lip gloss and that kind of thing stuck in there. All right, Ann just brought this bag over here, and she was it struggling. Like I think it's the I think it's candle stuff. It's like oh, bags yeah. of that stuff. I think. <laughs> yeah, it's um decorative filler, just like sand. It's for like crafts, I guess. Sand sable decorative accents. Yeah, it's just full of sand. All right, we are back here at the store, unloading this truck now and they were definitely they were into making all kinds of stuff there's a ton of this is um body scrub that they made if you look down in here look at all these little jars looks like you know those kind of ready to sell stuff and we got um sugar scrub so all kinds of stuff like that Ann's pulling out of here see all down in here tons of body scrub and then we got like other crafting type stuff mixed in laminating pouches whole thing a brand new label so all kinds of stuff along those lines and then this kind of stuff was in there too all of these glass gems for crafting and over here some of these boxes right here we never we didn't they were at the end and we didn't open these up at all but we've got these little display shelves here they actually have a stand on the back I'm thinking they were for jewelry probably whatever this company is right here probably sent them in the display their particular stuff put these in the auction and what else do we have under here oh this is the one we did look at these boxes on the top this had a couple pieces of jewelry in it and this did, but we didn't really look down in here but we do have a bunch of hair we got a soft twist the softest hair but lots of hair right here hair hair little shelves oh, these are all lanterns like chinese lanterns and stuff that would hang
been going through all the boxes, been finding lots of good stuff. Man, what a good unit for 80 bucks. I really needed a unit like that. Needed some stuff to put in the auction. Needed one that I wouldn't spend in, you know, spend $500, make, you know, sell everything for seven or $800. That's a loser unit. I'm getting um, several loser units here recently, kind of on a little bit of a, I don't, not really a bad streak, but not a great streak. But this one right here, $80 and just tons and tons and tons of stuff plus the other one i got for 90 dollars. the fridge works so that's like 250 to 300 dollars. the range it's all good all nice and cleaned up and works it's um we got 275 on it then we got the camping chair and the wheelchair thing that was on the back i haven't even looked up that um wheelchair rack carrier whatever you want to call it but those are pretty expensive i think but what i'm going to do we like i said going through tons of boxes and just a ton of ton of stuff so it's just hard to show all that stuff so i've got two boxes sitting here that are taped up that i haven't looked in have no idea what's in them so we're going to go through those i'm going to show you that i'm going to look at these shoes right here we're going to we're going to see what, what kind of shoes we can match up ended up with three garbage bags full of looks like nice shoes so we're going to see what we got there and i'm going to still got other boxes to go through and everything but then I'm going to take you out to the auction area and we're going to show you some of the stuff that we have put out from this unit. And then that couch set actually turned out decent. Got $250 marked on it. So out of an $80 unit, not bad at all. So let's get busy. Let's first, let's look at these two boxes right here. These are the two we're going to go through. One big one, one small one. No idea what's in them. Let's go. First one here, smaller size box. It's all taped up. It says fragile on it. So no idea, this is really about the only box that said fragile, even though there was stuff that was, you know, breakable in some of the boxes. But this one's actually marked like that. Let's see what we have. Got some faux plants here. Let's set this off to the side. So we got a bottle, it looks like. Something... It's falling down inside of it. I think the cork, there's a cork down inside of it. But kind of just a decorative bottle. Let's see what else we got here. Alright, so oh, this is like from 1980. What the world? It's got 2001 on it and 1988 from a high school. So not really much there. Here's a little tiny like piece of a small oil lamp. Let's see what else we're gonna have. Oh, we get a little set. These little bad boys. Almost like little copper shot shot glasses. What do they call those mule glasses? Like little mini mini ones of those kind of. Up oh, here's another bottle. I don't know if they painted these. I think they did. They painted these and then wrapped this twine around them. Kind of make decorations out of them. All right, where's my trash at? <coughs> Bring this over here. Got somewhere to throw trash into. Then we got a maid of honor, but it, it's personalized, has a name on it. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Whoa. We got stuff coming out of here. We got a whole bunch of like little... Kind of like shot glasses, I guess. There's a, the Last Supper. It's like a little mini teacup there. Almost like fancy shot glasses, little mug like glasses. Okay, I'm assuming this is going to be more mini. This might be all glasses. It's all like miniature glasses, various types. Another painted bottle. But they look pretty cool. I'll probably just put all those in one lot in the auction. More glassware here. Throw that away. <coughs> Excuse me. More glassware. Lots of tiny glasses and Things like that. It looks like we're gonna have like a gold trimmed set, maybe, or is it just just one glass here? So this is all glasses. So not super exciting. Let's see. 
if it's all just glasses, glasses, that's what it looks like it is, we'll kind of just we can skip over to this because looks like there's going to be like several pieces to this gold set maybe. Let me look over here. Yep, all down in here, it's all just various glasses. Okay, so we're going to move on to that next box. Moving on to, now we get this big box here. I know a lot of, some people might say, oh, I want to see the glasses, but I know most people don't really care to sit there and look at a bunch of glasses. So we kind of moved quickly past that one. All right, right here. You, me, qui. I don't know what that exactly means right there, but that's what it says. And then this this unit has been full of nice decor, all various types of craft items, for, you know, all different stuff they are making. This look at this right here. This is all brand new crafting stuff: beads, eyes, stars, all kinds of stuff. So we go right into the auction buggy. Um, very nice household stuff, you know, kitchen stuff, pots and pans. There's been tools mixed in, all kinds of stuff. There's a sublimation machine, the thing you like put the wraps onto bottles and all that kind of thing with. Let's see what this is. This looks like more crafting type stuff. Look, you got the little Fiskars scissors that you can use to, you know, cut with the different designs. Looks like all kinds of bags in here. pipe cleaners, all that kind of stuff, but this thing, I'll have to look closer to this, but it's got lots of gift bags in this bag right here. A bag of mostly gift bags. It's got a lot of weight to it, so there's probably other stuff. I mean, there's like little blocks of wood for crafting. More of these scissors. All right, now what else do we have? Here's a whole thing. That's brand new. Brand new thing of crayons. And then a completely empty thing of colored pencils. And these are like little containers. Tiny little storage containers to put. Because they were like making all kinds of, making lip gloss, making candles, you name it. So that stuff can go in the auction. This will be on the dig aisle trash let's check out this other container it looks like all these little containers in this box right here are all going to be various craft stuff you see this this is um lavender flowers um these little things to make keychains with oh, this has all kinds of different stuff in it it's got light bulbs look they got dominoes little storage containers so that's a little bit more it's crafting stuff with a few other odds and ends mixed in here's another one more crafting stuff all kinds of stuff paint brushes loctite little crafting popsicle sticks crazy glue no i'm good let's see this is all ribbon it looks like look at all this ribbon these little tassel things but look at all that ribbon right there this is like brand new. Plus the little containers they're in, they're all good with lids. Uh, we got, I think this is a laminator right here. Pretty sure that's what that is, is a um, laminator. Um, what does it say here? Place inside pouch. Yeah, this is gonna be, a, that's a laminator. Chill. What is this? See, here's more. This is all for soap. Clear soap. Save on transparency. That's stuff to make soap with. I don't know what that is. I think that's like actually a license plate little frame thing. It's all it's rubber. I guess you just you'd make stuff out of it. Okay, there's been tons of these things. All these little molds, little rings, hearts. What is this? Caribbean frag fragrance collection. Hmm, smells good. All right, so it's is it essential oil? 
<laughs> yep, it's a whole set of essential oil. Man, that thing smells good. Pina colada. <laughs> Papaya. There's another little mold. This is all like bees and bee honeycomb and all that stuff. So here's more of them. Litter molds. This is mostly a crafting box. Like I said, that's been a lot of that in there. But there has been other stuff. These are little little wooden chests you can paint. All right, now we got several looks like pieces of wall art here. And we're stuck with this thing. But lucky. Beach, little shadow box, got like little beads and stuff. Beach more, worry less. There's a nice little cutter right here. Carbo titanium. Brand new canvas. Here's more soap stuff, but most of that's been used out of that one. What are these? Okay, so this is like art that, oh, let me cover that up. Okay, that's like personal, that's like art what she did, but I think of herself or her family or same thing with that. Alright, let me pick this up. Oh. So down in there, there's just um, all those little, whatever those were, little wooden chest. And then in this box right here, it's more crafting stuff, but is this all... Okay, these are all like essential oils. Look at all that. Ooh, man, a bunch of them. All that's essential oils. I think they were using that to put in to make some of their products with. They put some of that oil in there. <clears throat> I don't know if you use that when you make perfume and stuff or not, but. And then this is a bunch of yarn right here. All right. And then a little thing of Bath and Body's work. Body Works. It's pretty much full, perfect peony. Peony, peony, whatever. All right, so that's pretty much, those are two boxes, kind of give you a little bit of an idea of what we've been looking at. But like I said, there's been way more than that. Um, nice clothing too, like look at this right here. Nice Michael Kors, little trench coat that I just pulled out a minute ago. All right, I'm gonna go through these shoes right here. We're gonna go through these shoes. Oh, and there's been, a, there was a ton of women's shoes, but these are all the tennis shoes, everything people like to look at. And then we're going to, I'm gonna take a, quick run out to the auction area and show you some of the stuff that we have actually put out at this point but as of right now could we get timberland let's see if we can match some of these up how many we're gonna be able to match up but these are all nice tennis shoes like i said i've got three bags so hopefully we're gonna be able to match some of these up let's see what we got here and some of these i mean very very good condition there's just all different different ones though so like if you look in a bag there'll be several different ones that don't have matches but hopefully with there being three bags we're gonna find some matches here some camo got an adidas that's kind of like this looks like a star wars oh yeah tie fighter that's kind of cool adidas star wars tie fighter shoes there's the match on that one so there's a match it's the first match we found there's a nike and here's another nike air force ones so there's a pair and remember like i've said a bunch of times this is an 80 dollars unit so we're doing pretty good at this point. Another Nike. And the more of these, more of these pairs we find, the better. Some Vans. I think this is one of the bags that I showed somewhat. There's another Nike Air Force One. All right, so let's go to another bag here. Let's see if we're gonna find some matches, or if we're gonna have just a bunch of different shoes. Nike, Nike. Here's a Jordan. Oh, here's a pair right here on these Nikes. We got three pairs. Here's another. This is an Adidas. One we haven't seen. Oh, we got a pair on these camo. I don't think I think these are off brands, but they're still nice looking. There's four. Up, oh, we got a pair here. There's five. 
we have this one i thought i saw this one yep right here on the jordans there's six here's another here's the timberland that's seven we're doing good now finding lots of pairs here's a um a van and here's another van that matches that one that's what did i say seven more okay that's eight i think all right we got another bag here let's see what we can find that's a different one and here's the match on the jordan that's nine yep there we go there that's ten i think we're gonna find most of them from the looks of it right here we got eleven twelve on the van uh oh 13 right here <clears throat> on the nikes oh here's one of these 14 we might just have all of them here 15 on the adidas 16 on these nikes 17 on this van 18 and then here's a different one so <laughs> all right so they could still be in this unit somewhere we got two we got a, a jordan and an air force one that don't have matches at the moment i don't know what i either said 18 or 19 whatever i just said on the shoes look at this right here we got a chewbacca toboggan that was um in there with the shoes so whatever i said night i think i said 19 at just ten dollars each that's a hundred and ninety dollars that'd be more than double the price of the unit so like i keep saying very good unit if we run out everything down these shelves besides with the exception of just a handful of items like all of these right here these are all um like bath scrubs and everything all this stuff was in there they were making this stuff but everything that i'm showing down through this area see there's a ton of that stuff on these scrubs tools couple things here like this was left over from last week and such but like everything down this section is all out of their exercise equipment easter eggs all the decor i think we saw some of this when we were loading up metal metal wall decor here <clears throat> and then every everything down all these tables right in here that i'm going to show is all out of there ranging from all the ribbon rain -X, kitchen items you name it we got clamps little photo box right here we found take pictures in this is like a brand new dymo label writer right here brand new set of weights these i think these were wrapped up in shrink wrap when we got them out so you couldn't see them all this down this side here we got the um pokemon hat we found this right here this is pretty cool it's a lazy susan so like i said lots of decor some very nice decor power banks all these little statues it's a polaroid um camera right here this thing's kind of weird i don't exactly know why but it's like an amber color light it lights up and it shines like a spotlight but it pivots down so i don't know if it's like if you want to look at stuff under that lighting, I'm not sure. And all this nice little ninja blender. You got the birds there. Those are cool. But I've been finding name brand clothing, Puma, Nike, Victoria's Secret, all this stuff. And there were a bunch of these. These were brand new. They were selling these. I think this was like their logo on these sets that have, I think it's got like short, two shirts and a pair of shorts and stuff. And then everything down through here, we still got to finish that end right there. But all this stuff has been coming out. Oh, we found this right here. I think this is, I think you call this a sublimation machine. This thing you make the wraps around the um, mugs and everything. Like all these punches right here. These are very expensive. Then all these, we showed all these, but these were all full of stuff, but we got them emptied out now. But we'll have this done right here in a little while. And so all this stuff, 
that I've been showing is all out of that unit. So that filled up a big chunk of the um, auction. And then a lot of this stuff over here, like the exercise equipment and stuff. And then we've put a ton of stuff out into the store also. All right, this is the um, living room set that came out of there. So once we got the cushions on and the feet on and everything, all thing is one of the feet in the back does need a little bit of a repair, but we got 250 on it, two piece set for someone. But as you can see, we got a, a lot of stuff in the auction out of this unit. A whole bunch of small stuff went to the dig aisle, like probably, you know, a few hundred items went into the dig aisle. Um, so, you know, several hundred pieces of clothing, a lot of clothing. And we are still digging around back here. Oh, and then there was some Christmas and Halloween stuff that actually two Christmas trees, two boxes of Halloween stuff and a few other things. So good unit. And this is the kind you want to get where you pay hardly nothing for and you know the stuff just keeps coming and coming and coming that's the name of the game it's not you know see how much you can spend a lot of times buying these units everybody gets caught up in trying to buy these big expensive units and saying oh i spent five thousand dollars on this oh i spent two thousand dollars whatever the case is and but if you're not you know and sometimes yeah you can make a lot of money because you can pay five thousand and you know there ends up being tens of thousands of dollars worth of stuff but it's one of the things like if you pay two thousand dollars for a unit and then once you sell everything you sell it all for three thousand dollars normally if you pay that much for a unit, you're, it's a big unit that's a lot of work and that's you know that's tough to really make money when you're you know going from two thousand dollars and you're only making three thousand dollars profit because that's not your real profit because you got to deduct all your labor and all your expenses like for me i got to deduct the lights, the building, on and on and on and on again. So when you can pay $80 like this one and you can make a few thousand dollars, you know, I don't know the exact total, but, you know, at least two grand. I mean, the percentage wise there from $80, even if you just make a thousand, 80 to a thousand, I mean, you just got so much more room there to, you know, actually make a profit and make some money. But anyways, I can go on and on about that all day long. Bottom line is a good unit overall and hopefully we'll be getting some more good ones in the future where we can pay as little as possible and make as much as possible even if we only pay a dollar you know sometimes buying them dollar units can pay off you know those some of those dollar units can be rough but i've done really good on dollar units in the past i've done really good on free units that people gave me for free but that's it for this video if you like the video give us a thumbs up leave a comment if you haven't already hit that subscribe button y'all have a good one